First responders are seeing a spike in calls, as you'd imagine. Since 7 o'clock this morning, Colleen Fire Department responded almost 100 calls. The two most frequent car accidents and falls on the ice. So to put this into perspective, in a typical 24-hour shift, the department gets around 75 calls. Well, tonight, anchor Bailey Bates documents the moments when minutes count. And then you can hear the slush as we're driving through it. All that slush is going to refreeze. Driving around Colleen, Fire Battalion Chief Philip Bannister gets a firsthand feel of what drivers will be enduring. 195 and Stain Schluter is problematic. Rosewood and I-14 is problematic. Uh, I-14 and WS Young, are, they're high traffic, high volume areas, and they they sit there and they hold the weather. It's the well-traveled areas and everything in between is what Colleen Fire Department responds to. And this is not typical of what our fire department would usually respond to. This is usually a once or twice a year kind of thing for us. But with lots of planning and teamwork, the men and women are keeping citizens safe. The preparatory changes a little bit for us. We prep for the cold weather. We prep for the booster trucks being ready. From stalled vehicles on WS Young Drive into crashes on busy I-14, they're braving the cold, icy conditions and putting their lives at risk on the side of the road. So for us, this is pretty normal. Um, there are no days off for us. It's it's steady. Um, we prepare. We either come in the night before or because when duty calls, these essential workers, the men and women of Colleen Fire Department will be there. I think for the most of us, we join this job for those kind of things. We don't we don't necessarily need the the warmth and the coziness of home. Um, we come out, we do this because we were blessed with a certain menta mentality or uh, drive that brings us out in this to help the public. Reporting for 6 News, I'm Bailey Bates.